you? I'm doing well, Fatma. How about you? I'm doing just fine. Um, I was thinking of buying a cell phone like the, the one you're using, but I don't seem to have enough money. Is yours not working? You just called me yesterday. Uh, mine works just fine, but I like the look and the features of some of the newer cell phones. Uh -huh. And uh, I just never seem to have enough money to get what I want. And I don't even know. I don't even have enough money for a lot of things, I guess. You know, life has its challenges and money can be a major one, especially when one doesn't plan well. Um, I wish I could do better at planning for how to use my money, but I just don't know how. I thought that when I found a job and got paid regular and everything would work, but it seems that I'm always short of money even when I make more money than I did before. I understand what you're saying, Fatma. I have had similar experiences. In fact, I think this is a common situation that many people encounter. But what is a person supposed to do? Well, I mentioned before, planning can help. Maybe you can set up a plan so you can manage your money better. I suppose so. I just don't know where to start. Let's talk about the big picture first. You have a job, right? So you have some money coming in, right? Yes, I get paid every two weeks. And you buy things with that money. You spend it. Yes, I have many different, you know, things I spend on. So you have money coming in and you have money going out. You need a plan to make sure there is less money going out than is coming in, right? It sounds simple to have less money going out than is to have it coming in. If I can do it, I will have some extra money. Exactly. The money coming into the household is called income. And mm -hmm. the money going out is called expenses. Okay. When we have more income than expenses over time, mm -hmm. we will have extra money. Mm -hmm. If our expenses are higher than our income, mm -hmm. we will be short of money and won't be able to pay all of our expenses. If I, w I would love to have more income than expenses and have extra money. But doesn't, that doesn't seem to happen. You're right. It does. It, it doesn't just happen on its own. You need to make a plan and stay with it to make it happen. A plan that matches money that comes in with the money that goes out is called a budget. In other words, a budget is a plan that matches your income with your expenses. Mm. This is very promising information. How do I go about setting up a budget for myself? Well, the first thing is to write down all the income you have. Think about any money you receive. For example, I know your main job is your work at the hospital, but you would also count the income you receive from your side job, repairing motorcycles to evening per week. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> These both count as your income. And some people make money selling vegetables at the market, which should be included as income. You may do other things for people who pay you money for your services, mm -hmm. such as driving a taxi or taking care of someone else's child. Mm -hmm. You may sell clothing and sell it to friends. Mm -hmm. Money earned from all these examples would count as income. You're following me here, That's partner, right? Correct. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah, and perhaps you inherited some money from a relative who died, or you receive a government payment such as Social Security, or money from someone who rents a property you own. Okay. Any money that comes to your household can be considered as your income. Oh, I sometimes help a neighbor on, the f on her farm and she gives me some money. Would that be income as well? Yes, any money you receive is income. Sometimes my friends at the farm give me vegetables instead of money. Can I count that as income? No, <laughs> not unless you sell the vegetables to someone else. Oh. Payment in anything except money cannot be counted in your income. Okay. So to start on creating your budget, mm -hmm. you need to write down all the income you receive in a period of time. Mm -hmm. Good periods of time to use for a budget are a month or a year. Okay. You will notice that some income, like the money from your neighbor for helping on her farm, mm -hmm. is only for certain months during the planting or harvesting season. True. 
you can make up a list of monthly incomes for a year mm -hmm. and include this seasonal income in the appropriate months. Okay. Does this make sense, Fatma? Um, it's, it's making some sense. So let's practice by making a budget for a month. Okay. I will write down all my sources of income for a month. In any case, this would be the money I make from working at the hospital, plus a little loan from my side job, repairing motorcycles. <laughs> if I'm making a budget for an entire year, some months, like months I work for the neighbor, will have a higher income because I have extra money in those months, correct? Yes. So let's write down what you know you make every month. Let's start with monthly pay at hospital, 140000 Motorcycle repair in the evenings, 40000 So your total monthly income is 180000 That's correct. If we are making a yearly budget, we could add in the extra money you make helping your neighbor on her farm. Mm. But we won't deal with that now since we are just doing a budget for a normal month. Okay. Um, yeah, the money I receive from my job and my side work of repairing motorcycles is something I can count on all the time. Those motorcycles are always needing repair. The farm work income changes a lot from year to year. So let's ignore that for now. All right. So you have a steadily monthly income of 180000 Now we need to identify as many of your expenses as we can. What expenses can you think of that, pay each month, that you pay each month? Uh, let's see. I buy food, chewing gum, soda, and gas for my motorcycle, and sometimes I buy some clothes. And I want to buy the new phone too. <laughs> yes, there are some of, those are some of your monthly expenses, but I bet you have more. What about rent and the minutes for your cell phone? Oh, how could I have forgotten my own rent? I would like to forget the cost of my minutes for the cell phone, but I suppose I have to count that as well as my expenses. Oh yes, this is a tough part of a budget, figuring out as accurately as possible every expense you have each month. Mm -hmm. Also some things are more important than others, right? Correct, you are very right. Now that you mentioned it, rent is very important, and so is the food. And some expenses are more important than the others. I agree. There are several ways to think about expenses. Mm -hmm. One important way is to think of the things we need mm -hmm. and the things we want. Needs are things you need to live. Okay. Wants are things you may want, but you don't really need them okay. to li uh, for you to live. Okay. A need of yours is rent, but a want of yours might be chewing gum <laughs> or soda, for example. <laughs> If you were to think of the things you really need each month, mm -hmm. what comes to mind, Fatma? Well, I need, I really need money for the rent. Mm -hmm. And I need money for the food. I need money for my medicines and to pay for the visits to the doctor for my health problems. Those are really important bills. Mm -hmm. Well, I also need money for my cell phone because clients frequently call me on my cell phone to repair the motorcycles on my side job. Oh yes, expenses that some people would consider a need may include a cell phone for business or a motorcycle to use as transportation for work. Okay. If you were a tax driver, for example, mm -hmm. a needed expense would be the taxi you use for work. For other people, these same expenses may not be needs at all. For many people, a car or a motorcycle would be a want, not a need. Oh, I think now I understand the difference between needs and wants. In my case, a cell phone is a needed expense for my motorcycle repair business, but the expense for my upgrade to a more stylish cell phone with more features would be a want and not really a need. <laughs> so I think I'll stick to my needs more than my wants. Exactly, Fatma. <laughs> OK, so let's go back to my list of my needs, not my wants. My needed expenses include rent, of course, which is uh, 20000 mm -hmm. motorcycle loan payment, which is 5000 
Uh, monthly supply of medicines, another 5,000. Um, cell phone minutes, another 5,000. Food, wait a minute. I don't have any idea how much I spend on food per month. I also don't know how much some other things cost like gas or insurance for my motorcycle. You can make an estimate or guess at how much food you, food expenses you use per month. Mm. You can more accurately determine your food expense if you keep track of what you spend on food over time. Some other things like the amount you spend on insurance need to be looked up in the papers you may have at home. Like I said, it may take a little effort to get all your expenses sorted out, but it will be very helpful to know what they really are. Okay. All right. I think I probably spend uh, about 50000 for food each month and uh, around 10000 for gas and insurance. We can use those figures for now at least. Okay. Some expenses are the same each month. Okay. These are called fixed expenses. But some expenses such as food or clothing or doctor visit charges will change from month to month. And these are called variable expenses. Mm -hmm. We do the best we can at making an estimate of the variable expenses. And over time, we can improve the accuracy of that number as we keep track of those experience expenses. Okay. And now, let's write this all down. Okay, all right? let's do this. So rent, 20000 mm -hmm. Motorcycle on payment, 5000 Okay. Monthly supply of medicine, another 5000 Yes. Cell phone minutes, 5000 Food, 50000 Electricity, 20000 mm -hmm. Water, 10000 mm -hmm. Gas, 10000 Motorcycle insurance, 10000 Doctor visit charges, 10000 Public school for your daughter, 10000 Clothes, 5000 Yeah. So all this adds up to a total of 160000 That is correct. So now I have my needed expenses listed out. Where do my ones fix in? All right. The ones expenses are those you don't have to have to leave. Okay. You mentioned you wanted to purchase a cell phone with a stylish appearance <laughs> and more features. But your current phone works just fine. Oh. This would be an example of a wanted expense. Okay. There may be other things you want, such as some special clothes. Mm -hmm. You may not really need them, yes. but they would be nice to have. I know you like to chew gum and drink soda. <laughs> These are wants, yes. and because you, don't need the, because you just don't need them to leave. Well... I understand what uh, you are saying, Guantua. I wonder how much I spend each month on my wants. Maybe this is why I have trouble paying my rent. Something I need to do each month. You do understand how a budget works now, Fatma. We could list out your wants, but this might be a pretty long list, huh? Mm-hmm. And I'm afraid it would almost be endless. I understand the list of needs and why it is important, but how does this really work? Let me show you a method of easily putting your budget into action. I was just picking up some envelope at the store to use for my budget. The system I will describe to you is called an envelope budget. So first write each item on your list of needed expenses on the front of separate envelopes like this. So say we have rent, And you had motorcycle on. Okay. And you had medicine. Mm -hmm. And then when you are done writing each of them on the envelopes, yeah. write the amount of money for each of the needs on the envelope below the name of the item. Okay. So we had 20,000 for rent, 5,000 for the motorcycle loan payment, mm -hmm. and you had 5,000 for medicine. Yes. 
There, we have one envelope for each of your needed expenses mm -hmm. with the name of the expense mm -hmm. and the amount of that ex expense. Okay. We have rent, mm -hmm. motorcycle loan, mm -hmm. medicine, mm -hmm. cell phone minutes, mm -hmm. food, electricity, water, mm -hmm. gas, mm -hmm. motorcycle insurance, mm -hmm. doctor visit, school fees, and clothes. So once you have your envelopes all nice and well written out, mm -hmm. at the beginning of each month, mm -hmm. take the money you receive for your work at the hospital mm -hmm. or your motorcycle repair business and put the appropriate amount of money in each envelope of your needed expenses. Yes. You have the money, yeah. right? Yes, I have the money. All right. So let's do this. Okay. You have 20000 for rent. All right, and then motorcycle is 5,000. That's great. We yep. need 5,000 for medicine. There you go. And we need 10,000 for the doctor visit. Um, motorcycle insurance, you pay 10,000 every yes. month. Yes. And then your electricity bills, about 20,000. Good. 10,000 for water. Cell phone minutes, 5,000. Oh, my. Oh, you have some change. Down. That's yes. good. I made sure I brought some change. And then gas, 10,000. Food. Is where we have 50,000. Yep, that's the big One, chunk. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 50,000. That's great, Fatma. Then and then school fees, 10,000. We have 10. And we need 5,000 for clothes. Great. So once you have put the appropriate of month, amount of money in each of the envelopes, mm -hmm. Then put the envelopes in a safe place. Perhaps you have a locked box or a good hiding spot where you can keep them. Yes. When the time comes to pay a needed expense, mm -hmm. go to the appropriate envelope and use the amount, the money in the envelope to make the payment. Okay. Let's say it's time for rent. What will you do? I have the yes. rent. Take the rent, take the money out, go pay the rent. Okay. But then put money back in the envelope for the next month's payment. So when you receive your next hospital pay mm -hmm. or payments for your motorcycle repair business, mm -hmm. allocate that appropriate amount of money back to that rent envelope. Mm -hmm. This way, you will have money for your needed payments. Mm -hmm. If the amount of money required for your needed expenses is more than your income, mm -hmm. you need to decrease your expenses in some way or increase your income. Hopefully, by planning, you will have extra money at the end of each month mm -hmm. after paying for your needed expenses. Okay. That would be a wonderful thing. How about my wants? How can I plan them now? Oh, yeah. You can plan for your wants, too. Okay. You can add more envelope with the name of the want written on it. Mm -hmm. If you want the fancier cell phone, for example, mm -hmm. you can write the price of it on an envelope mm -hmm. and put extra money in the envelope at the end of each month after you have put the correct amount of money in each envelope with your needs. Oh. Remember here, your needs are the key. Oh, nice. One way to think about this is to focus your want on things that will actually reduce the amount of money you have to spend or on things that will improve your life in some way. Mm -hmm. For example, if you had an envelope for an insecticide-treated mosquito <laughs> net and you collected enough money over time to buy it, mm -hmm the net would reduce your chances of getting malaria. Yes. So you would likely save money on, Medical. on medicines That's and true. doctor visits for the malaria treatment. That is true. Or if you collected money to buy a water filter, uh -huh. you would save money on having to buy safe water since you could make your own safe water yeah. from the unsafe water. Smart idea. You would also need fewer doctor's visits because you'll be healthier, right? Yes, correct. Exactly. So collecting money over time like this is called savings. Uh -huh. In general, it is always good to have some money collected as savings mm -hmm. in case you have an emergency expense mm -hmm. that you weren't expecting. Uh -huh. 
as you're learning, planning can make a large difference in how well you live your life. Oh, thank you so much, Guantua. This was excellent. You gave me an excellent advice. It makes a lot of sense. I will get some envelopes to start my envelope budget so I can have awareness and control over how I spend my money with my wants and my needs. I'm glad I shared it with you, Fatma. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. You too.